Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last couple of videos, I talked about going this week was gonna definitely be a budget week for meals. So I don't have a huge haul, have a lot of produce for the meals that I'm making. I will tell you as I go along, plus put any links down below. So let's go ahead and just get started with the produce since we're already over here. So I have some green onions. I just like to have these in salads. Plus I'm doing like an Asian, um, kind of stir fry thing that I like and I like to put um, green onions in those the Asian stir fry also calls for cabbage I'm gonna make a pretty big thing of that and have it for leftovers for lunch as well so I have like a, like a quarter of a green cabbage in my fridge and so I think this will be enough for both of them because cabbage really cooks down as you know when you cook it um, we're having tacos one day this week, so I picked up some shredded lettuce for that for the family. I probably won't use that for anything. A couple red onions. I'm doing uh, chicken fajitas, like sheet pan fajitas, so I like to do red onion with that. Plus, the family's having sub sandwiches for dinner one night, and so um, I like to put red onion in with those. A couple of cucumbers. That's like one of my favorite snacks. The bell peppers for the chicken fajitas. Again, I'll be making kind of a bigger platter of those for my lunches. So I don't have anything planned for lunches. It's all going to be leftovers. So I'm hoping I have leftovers. Sometimes that's kind of, you know, gone against me and we didn't have any leftovers. So hopefully we do. I'll just have to make sure we do. Uh, one of the dishes is a broccoli hamburger um, gratin, gratin, however you say that. So I picked up a couple things of Brussels sprouts for that. Um, it's literally just Brussels sprouts, hamburger, cheese, bacon, saute them up. It just sounds super easy plus really cheap. Uh, some tomatoes for salads and whatnot. Romaine lettuce for salads. I've been liking really big side salads with my dinners. I picked up asparagus mainly because these were three for like eight and so I needed this and you had to buy three to get that so I picked up some asparagus. It's not my favorite but I thought that might be good in the stir fry. I think I'm going to cut it into really little pieces and do that. A uh, yellow squash. This actually is for my husband. I'm going to be doing fried squash for him to go with the pork chops this week. Um, zucchini. We'll get to those in a second. Zucchini for, I'm making a keto shepherd's pie and so I'm going to be putting zucchini in that plus I thought the stir fry would be good with that. Okay, these. Now I saw these, these are chayote squash. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. I've heard you can use these in place of like apples and keto desserts. So this week I'm gonna find something, I'm thinking like maybe some kind of individual like apple crisp or apple crumble, something like that. I don't know, I have no idea, but I'll do it in one of my what I eat videos this next week and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm really curious about this. So let me know if you've ever tried this in any keto dessert recipes. Very, very curious about that. And spring mix, if you hear any hammering, sawing, drills, my husband is replacing a transmission in a vehicle in the garage. <laughs> so uh, spring mix for salads. And now it's kind of the refrigerator type stuff. You guys know I love this coconut almond milk for um, my, what do I drink it with? Oh, my smoothies. Also, I finally, finally broke down and got one of those cold foam and the like milk frothers and it's coming tomorrow and I'm hoping that this milk works really good in that. Sour cream because I'm almost out. I picked up some guacamole and some pico de gallo for those tacos and I'll probably do like a taco bowl or burrito bowl for myself. I know these don't have the best ingredients but I love these blue diamond bolds. This is a sriracha. This is amazing. It does have dextrose in it so it's definitely a dirty keto item. Cream cheese because I've been loving mini bell peppers and cucumbers with cream cheese and just put some of the everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh my gosh such a good snack. I picked up quite a few two good, two good yogurts because I've been eating these with those granola bars that I found last week. So look at last week's grocery haul. I will try to have it linked above, but I always have a link below. Um, it had I found those ratio granola bars that taste just like the Nature Valley granola bars. They are so good, and I love to dip them in yogurt. Picked up some horseradish mustard just to have because I love it. And I don't normally get things like this, but I thought this might be just good on coffee or maybe that dessert. I was thinking that apple dessert, some sugar-free whipped heavy cream. It does have zero carbs, but I know it's definitely a dirty keto item. Picked up a couple of the Bolt House Protein Keto drinks. I'm gonna be um, our last weekend cleaning our rental. So I thought that would be a good thing for me to bring over there with me to have to drink. Eggs. I have a whole dozen of the Battle Farms eggs that my store was out of the Battle Farms eggs, so I picked up some of the Wilcox Free Range. 
I picked one of these up. I like to have these sometimes on the weekend. Um, this is the Qu Quest Thin Crust Pizzas. These are really good. Half of the pizza is six net carbs. Sometimes I will just, sometimes I will eat the whole thing depending on my weekend. Cause a lot of times this is, I only have one meal on the weekend. So sometimes I'll eat the whole entire thing. Usually I can make through three quarters of it before I start getting really full, but it definitely satisfies that pizza craving. And if you just don't want to have to make the fat head dough, that's the thing with me. I just don't have a lot of time to do that. Broccoli, just for a side dish. A couple things of ice cream. I got the enlightened mint chocolate chunk and the butter pecan. Picked up some ground beef. I was telling you guys I stocked up on all that chicken and ground beef from Costco, but because we have ground beef with pretty much every meal, since my husband can't eat chicken, um, we go through ground beef like crazy. Bacon. Pork chops will be one of our meals this week. Picked up some smoked deli ham. This is mainly, mainly for my husband. And then I saw this at Walmart. It was already cut. And it's just a um, buffalo chicken lunch meat, which I absolutely love. So I thought that would be a good like lunch thing. Picked up a package of these sparkling ice. These are all my favorite flavors. I could not believe I found all my favorite flavors in one pack. So yum, cannot wait to drink those. And I will show you the things I got from there. So I picked up this chili verde. So I got that Del Rio pork carnitas, which was absolutely amazing. And I saw this chili verde there and it's pork and green sauce, less than a net carb, but less than one net carb. Just thought that sounded really good, maybe for lunch or something. For those taco bowls, for mine, I'm gonna use this taco seasoning turkey sausage. I love this, this is from Genio. They have, this is the same brand that has that chorizo turkey sausage, which is amazing. For the shepherd's pie, I needed some beef stock. I needed ginger for that stir fry. They still had some of these there, which I absolutely love this flavor. This is a pineapple coconut. You guys know I absolutely love these either on their own or in smoothies. They're three net carbs. Um, they have a really good balance since they are balanced for keto. This is their, their carb balance. So yum. Picked up some baby bells. These are only like $1.49 at Grocery Outlet. These are the white cheddar. Picked up a big thing of avocado oil. I know I can get a better deal at Costco, but I'm not gonna go to Costco for a couple of weeks. So just pick that up. They have the keto bread there from Franz, so I picked a loaf of that up. And then the Olay Extreme Wellness. Oh, I got these at Safeway, so then I had to go to Safeway to get sodas for my husband, so I picked this other stuff up. The Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps, these are four net carbs. I was on the hunt for the fall blend because I've heard it's out, but none of my stores had it, but they had pumpkin spice at, um, I think I got this at Walmart. No, I lied, these are from Walmart. Um, anyway, they had the pumpkin spice from Starbucks, so I picked that up. And then my son wanted the vanilla, but I thought that sounded good as well. So I'm on the hunt though for the fall blend. You guys know how much I love the fall blend coffee. Small haul for the week. Again, I will have all the recipes that I mentioned linked down below and stay tuned this next week for what I ate videos where I'll show you how I put all these into meals and I have been recording my dinners. So I'm every Sunday or Monday, you are going to see a what's for dinner video this week. It'll be up on Monday. So it just depends on how my videos flow for the week. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.